Yeah, and I think hopefully okay yung ano ko, ah, yung sound ko. I had to just put on this one. Kaya na cancel ko yung isa. Well, uh, maraming salamat folks. Uh, last time we had very interesting discussion back then sa commission elections. Live tayo from commission elections vlogger style, no? So officially, I think I can now be called a vlogger, no? In addition to everything else, no? So podcaster and vlogger. Yan ang mga dinagdag natin dyan sa ating mga byline. Uh, over the past two or three months, I'm very, very gl uh, glad and very, very grateful. No, dun sa mga sumo support sa atin sa podcast namin Project Pilipinas with good friend of mine Mark Gumb Gamboa, and of course also dito sa mga Meta Alive at vlog na ginagawa natin. Salamat din sa mga nagsend ng stars. No, uh, nakita ko lang conversion niya. It covers my 5G. I think naginasus ko dun sa sa internet. So please continue to support us para lamang cover natin yung yung mga ano natin operating cost slang dahil hindi naman tayo vlogger to the max pa. Well, today I want to discuss actually issue, an issue na hindi natin masyadong pinag-usapan in the past but now na medyo nag-settle yung dust. I hope so. Of course, there will be always plot twist. Uh, si Tatay pa, di ba? Anything is possible in uh, in Tatay's Pilipinas. I want to discuss some issue which I think is definitely very relevant to our country at sana uh, pwede ito lumabas din sa uh, well, I'm sure lalabas ito sa mga debate and I think dapat bigyan natin ng mas, uh, you know, tunan natin yung issue na yan no? at bigyan natin ng pansin. No? At yun ang issue ng West Philippine Sea, South China Sea, at saka yung polisya natin with the great powers, China and United States. Uh, some of you who may have been familiar with me and my works, alam nyo na yun talaga yung una kong, kumbaga yung unang sabak ko sa media, everything. Actually, it was really issue of the West Philippine South China Sea. And, you know, I've written books on that. You can check this one, Asia's New Battlefield. This is the Philippine print version. There's a, there's a British, the original one was actually published in London. Uh, and now, uh, I think Bloomsbury Books, uh, it's distributing that. So this I wrote back in 2015, na predict cause rise of someone like Duterte in terms of foreign policy orientation, a much more pragmatic policy towards China. Uh, and then, of course, the more latest one, this is 2020, na published Palgrave Macmillan. So Singapore, London, uh, I think you can uh, order this online. Uh, in the end of vlogger, na, no, nagbebenta ko ng produkto. These are my own works, uh, as you can see. And of course, you can see the reviews behind by folks from Stanford University, from uh, from leading universities around the world, University of Sydney, uh, folks from different think tanks in the U.S. So please check that out uh, and you can see the reviews and everything behind. I think pinapakita din ito sa, sa online. Anyways, I'm not trying to sell my stuff. I'm just trying to say na eh, hindi ko pinag-usapan itong issue ng West Philippine Sea out of nowhere. It's not out of thin air. Uh, each of these books probably, what, 30 to 50 pages references lang. No, So medyo uh, yung eyebugs natin can be traced back to writing some of these books. Now, very quickly on this, actually I have a piece coming out on South China Morning Post, God willing, later this week, which will discuss Philippine policy, foreign policy, at saka yung China policy natin after President Duterte. So let me quickly discuss this issue and talk about three kinds of candidates. Hindi ako pumunta dito sa issue ng Manchurian candidates, pro-Uncle Sam, pro-China. I, I, I don't want to go into that. Medyo mudslinging yan. Let's have, let's have a much more intelligent discussion. No? Base dun sa mga plataforma na nakita natin na lumabas from different uh, campaigns. And of course, yung mga policy positions that some of our, our presidential boss have already taken no, on this issue. No? Uh, so, if you look at it roughly, there are three types of candidates pagdating sa, among presidentials natin, no? pagdating sa uh, West Philippine Sea. So, clearly, on one hand, you have the continuity candidates. So, if Bongo becomes the next president, well, Bongo has been essentially the alter ego of President Duterte. So, it will be very much a continuation of what we have. No? So, kung anong uh, orientation natin sa China, whether you like it or not, most likely this will continue under a Bongo presidency. And never underestimate Bongo. Marami nag-underestimate sa kanya back in 2019. And tignan nyo, he was number three in the Senate. So if, if Bongo is going to get a lot of... He has the machinery of President Duterte and everything behind him. So he might do way better than many people expect. No? Assuming wala na naman mangyaring substitution or some other plot, piece, plot twist later on. No? Now, the other candidate, of course, is Bongbong Marcos. Uh, klarong klaro si Bongbong Marcos na sang ayon siya, almost 100% dun sa policy ni Paolo Duterte sa, sa China, sa West Philippine Sea. Although mukhang medyo na-confuse niya yung mga terms, no? I think, or uh, actually institutions. I think he confused ICC with ICJ. Remember, ICC, International Criminal Court, it deals with issues, mass atrocities, etc. ICJ, this is the international court that deals with, for instance, territorial disputes, uh, among other things. But by the way, yung court na we had to deal with, 
dun sa ating arbitra arbitration case uh, was a different uh, uh, court. No? It was under the Article 287, Annex 7 of ON Clause. It was not also PCA. The Permanent Court of Arbitration was a registry. No, it was yun yung nag-release sa website nila yung final judgment. But actually, it was a special arbitral tribunal formed under the aegis of United Nations Convention Law of the Sea, uh, Article 28, Annex 7. I detailed that here based on conversations uh, with leading experts around the world, professors in Virginia University, Georgetown University, Germany, uh, thoughts by, uh, uh, by, by even Chinese scholars, leading Chinese scholars on ONCLOS, our own experts, Jay Batumbaka, Justice Scorpio, and others. So a lot of these have been here. You can also check my analysis for Brooking Institutions, among others. Like in ONCLOS, hey, Darian, stuff are going to come out. Uh, I also have journal articles on that issue that you can actually download for free Dun sa website, dun sa site ko on ResearchGate. So, because journal articles, you have to have access, university access, among others. Don't worry about it. For free, I have uploaded some of these uh, scientific journal articles. They're, they're, they're peer-reviewed journal, journal articles at Scopus or ISI. No? So, for free, available sila. One of them is Mare Liberum, no? whereby I discuss no? uh, open seas. No? Yung, yung uh, importance of on-clause at Philippines arbitration case. Uh, meron din akong tragedy of small power politics. I discuss President Duterte's uh, policy and how he has shifted from uh, previous administration. So, please, check that. No? Anyways, going back to that. So, we have... Bongo and essentially Bongbong Marcos as the candidates of continuity. And I, as far as the Marcoses are concerned, it's interesting. Uh, just Google nyo lang yan. You know, President Marcos actually, the former, you know, I, I, well, the, well, so far naman, isa lang naman talagang president. <laughs> Let's see what happens next year. Uh, wait lang. Um, president Marcos, no, you know, the father of the one who's running for the president. Uh, actually, I would, I would say pagdating sa foreign policy, I think he did much better than all other areas. Uh, I think he did very good job in terms of um, creating a forward deployment presence for us Jan sa uh, West Philippine Sea sa Spratlys tayo mga isa sa mga uh, na unang bansa na, na gumawa ng airstrip dyan sa, sa, sa pag-asa no? gumawa tayo ng pag -asa, uh, airstrip dyan sa pag-asa and then ginahe na lang tayo ng Vietnam, Taiwan, uh, Malaysia and then later on China on the huge scale no? uh, so actually medyo proactive yung foreign policy natin sa West Philippine Sea under the Marcos administ uh, Marcos regime no and actually Marcos regime uh, we all uh, it was also one of the uh, first US allies and nagnormalize ng ties with Maui's China so remember for a long time around 20 years or so uh, US right and a lot of his allies uh, Ang nire recognize sila China is yung yung government sa Taipei run by Kuomintang no uh, Chiang Kai-shek at saka yung mga heirs niya no um but in the 1970s, early 1970s, nakaroon ng Mao-Nixon meeting, nakaroon ng detente, right? And then countries like the Philippines also were among the uh, first U.S. allies and like normalized ties with Maoist China. So, so look at pictures dun sa Google uh, of Chairman Mao, Mao Zedong of China, with Imelda, with Bongbong Marcos. Meron pa nga isang picture, and dito si Bongbong Marcos, parang nag yakap yakap sila or something like that. And then, of course, meetings between President Marcos and, and President uh, 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 Mao. So, so you know, for yung mga nagsasabi na si Marcos ay tuta lang ng Amerika, ganun, I, I don't think they're, they're being very fair here. Uh, in fairness to President Marcos, he was kind of, uh, you know, triangulating, literally, this relationship with all the three major powers, Soviet Union, uh, 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 United States, and China. No? Now, so, and then, of course, alam din natin what happened in 1986. I mean, if Reagan administration, if the Reagan administration stood by Marcos, probably the whole ETSA thing would not have succeeded. I mean, let's just be honest. I think there, there could be some also resentment or anger at U.S. na parang inabandon sila nung time na yan after all of those years of having great relationship with the U.S., with the Nixon administration, uh, among others. So, in, in short, what I'm saying is that if Bongo Marcos becomes president, there is a precedence whereby his father actually had also a very proactive China policy. So this is not only about copycatting Duterte, dahil yung original na Filipino leader who had a kind of a vision of how to deal with China. I may not agree with it, but at, at least had a vision of dealing with China in a proactive way. That was Ferdinand Marcus, right? Again, we're not endorsing any candidates, and let's not forget about the human rights catastrophe, the economic catastrophe, and all of that. But I'm strictly talking about foreign policy here. So please, what kayo mag... Uh, overreaction. Foreign policy lang pinag-usapan natin. Okay? Foreign policy. Okay? Alright. Actually, again, pinag-usapan ko dito yan in some of my works. Uh, yung foreign policy under the Marcos 
regime. Uh, I've had uh, a series of professorial lectures with uh, Political University of the Philippines, but then checks YouTube ko yan. I also discuss in evolution of foreign policy natin, all the way from Aguinaldo, Battle of Manila, no, late 19th century, all the way to President Duterte and, you know, Juan Felipe Reef. So, kinover natin lahat yan dun sa mga lecture site. And so, please go there. Uh, and my upcoming book on China will actually also cover that. It's a Philippine chapter. I talk about five critical junctures in Philippine foreign policy. So, yun. What I'm saying here is that uh, ang analysis ko kay Bongbong Marcos ay hindi lang base sa sinabi niya or some TikTok stuff or some whatever GIF, GIF, whatever. No, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand Bongbong Marcos through understanding the policy of his father because I think there will be some continuity there. Na hindi lang si Duterte kasi original naman talaga yung tatay niya, hindi naman si Duterte. Di ba? Even si Duterte parang ina-idolize niya si uh, Ferdinand Marcos. So, so that's the context I want to talk about. I mean, Marcos was 21 years in power. So yung experience niya with geopolitics, I think is is incomparable to many other uh, candidates. I'm not saying he's smarter or better. I'm just saying mas grabbing exposure niya. And this was during Cold War, Vietnam War, grabe tong time na to, di ba? Uh, Third Indo-China War, Sino-Soviet split, US-China detente. So these were like really, really challenging times and Marcos had to really navigate them in the 70s and 80s. No, So yun, uh, let me just put it there. Again, this is not endorsement. We're clearly talking about foreign policy. At gusto, kasi, gusto ko kasi pag-usapan yan Kasi ang hirap ngayon mag-usap uh, Ukol dun sa Marcos era Is because it immediately goes to an issue Whether he's, he's the greatest leader or he's an evil no? so, so I think a more appropriate way forward Is to have a multi-dimensional analysis We can discuss human rights concerns under, under Marcos Development policy under Marcos And then foreign policy under Mar Marcos uh, Hindi ako pretentious But I've written academic stuff At least on the foreign policy of pre previous Filipino president. So, mas komportable ako, mas kampante ako ng pag-usapan itong issue na to, ng foreign policy. So, my sense is, you know, if you are China, and we already see that, tignan niyo mga Facebook posts ni Chinese ambassador after meeting niya with Bongbong Marcos. Like, he was fawning. I mean, it was like, love, 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 right? And it's because, you know, the, the Chinese are very historical people. They really read a lot, right? They're one of those really deeply historically oriented people. So very aware yung Chinese ambassador dun sa history ng Marcos Mao era. And I think there's a hope that hindi lang magkaroon ng continuity from Duterte to Bongo Marcos, but also Bongo Marcos will have that kind of proactive vision of dealing with China. Again, I'm not saying it's going to be smart, it's going to be correct. I'm just saying what was... I'm, I'm just trying to analyze saan pwede manggagaling si Bongbong Marcos pagdating sa kanyang uh, orientation no, with, with China and by extension with the United States. I don't think Bongbong Marcos is gonna go Duterte style, nix, uh, abrogate, uh, VFA, etc. Et I don't think so. But I think warmth of relations with China will significantly remain should Bongbong Marcos become the next president. We, 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 is it good or bad? Well, pwede natin pag-usapan yan. Pwede natin pag yan, no? But we're just trying to have an objective conversation about the context and the history that will shape Bongbong Marcos' approach to foreign policy. So here, so dun sa mga top contenders, I think Bongbong Marcos and Bongo will be variations of continuity pagdating sa ating China-US policy. Variations because my sense is with Bongbong Marcos, our relations with US will be much better because the bar is quite low uh, compared to to President Duterte. No? So, so that's it. Then on the opposite side, I would definitely put Lenny, right? Caliodi, and even Manny Pacquiao to a certain degree. W bakit ka mo Manny Pacquiao? Kung maalala nyo, si Manny Pacquiao ay nagdeklara ng kanyang independence from Duterte, essentially. Dun sa issue ng uh, Whitson Reef, no? Disputes earlier this year. Tingnan na, yung first issue na nagka-public disagreement or public in a uh, criticizing Paolo Duterte, ay, ni, ni Pacquiao si Paolo Duterte, ito yung issue ng West Philippine Sea. Di ba na sinabi niya, eh, pa jet ski, jet ski, yung mo dati, tapos, ngayon, di ba, you're not strong enough on China. So, so and if you look at Manny Pacquiao, in fairness naman to him, he, he has not, uh, he has not kind of abandoned that position and I won't be surprised that Pacquiao will go stronger because it's a crusade mode yung campaign in Pacquiao eh, which is strong against corruption and my sense is also in the West Philippines and this resonates maybe it didn't resonate earlier this year but later on I think it, it could resonate remember one of the most memorable moments remember moment yeah. Uh, was actually in jet ski speech in Paolo Duterte. Many people misunderstood it, what he was trying to do here, there, and I analyzed that in my book and journal articles, what, what, what Duterte was really trying to say. Because what Duterte was trying to say is this, matapang ako, malakas ako, 
maniwala na lang kayo sa akin how I'm gonna deal with China. That was essentially what he was saying. But everyone just focused on the jet ski part, right? They kind of missed the context of what Duterte was trying to say. And the reason I know what Duterte was saying is because nakasabay kami, hindi naman directly, but in interview kami ni CGTN, yung CCTV ng China, ako, si uh, Grace Po, at saka si uh, Paolo Duterte, well, then candidate Mayor Duterte, in March, no, 20... 16, no? At doon talaga, panoorin niya yan, no? Uh, talagang si Paulin Duterte, very, very lucid, very clear. He made his position, you know, essentially crystal clear, no? Um, na I want China to be our development partner and I don't see a point in picking fight over West Philippines. So I already know the position of President Duterte on that. Also look at Duterte's interviews with Maria Ressa in 2015. He had an extensive interview with Maria Ressa. Probably still available. Ito time na hindi pa sila nag and all of that, no? Uh, and and there, uh, Duterte explains very much where does he stand on U.S. and, and, and China. Parang point na, uh, dyan na tayo kay U.S. Eh, ano nakuha natin? Dito tayo sa China, tingnan natin ano makukuha natin dyan. So, I knew already ano yung orientation ni Paul Duterte noon pa lang. No? And initially, I gave them benefit doubt to get this recalibration right. Now, the rest is of course history and I have extensively written on that issue. Now, so Pacquiao, my sense is Pacquiao is hoping to also um, leverage uh, kasi yeah, foreign policy, siguro maraming tao walang pake sa foreign policy At kita natin dun sa, uh, hindi naman walang pake But it's a lower priority no? So kung titignan mo yung Pulse Asia survey Hindi siya nun, dun sa top 3 issues uh, Karamihan gut issues no? Or in education, inflation, mga ganun no? um, Gut issues and education to certain degree, right? For ABC, at some point, medyo concern nila yung law and order no? uh, Crime, issue ng crime no? But for majority of Filipinos, it's really gut issue and education, etc. Now, nonetheless, yung issue ng foreign policy ay nagiging mahalaga pag ang pinag-usapan dito yung China and specifically pag inaapi yung ating mga ingista. Kasi that's something that really appeals to us. Tignan nyo yung reaction ng public, no? Doon sa nangyari sa Red Bank, no? At saka yung mga, yung may mga reports na lumalabas na inaapi yung ano, yung ating mga mga ingista sa Panatag Shoal, no? So you could see it resonates with the, with the people. So it's not true na walang pakentao sa foreign policy. It's just how is foreign policy discussed and how is it approached and which specific foreign policy issue. Doon na kita natin na actually may pakentao. So my sense is Pacquiao also senses that, right? Now whether he can articulate it uh, and, and get the timing right, etc., that's, that's another issue. But I'm sure... This is going to be a question repeatedly in the presidential debates by Comelec and others that are going to be uh, organized uh, early next year, you know, ahead of the election day. Lenny Robredo, well, alam natin, yung position niya, uh, very tough. Uh, position niya, the, yung ating arbitral tribunal ruling will be essentially the basis for any negotiation with China. So China has to recognize that. Anything outside that, no thanks. But it's not like Lenny wants war or conflict. She's just saying that we have to get our red lines clear to China because otherwise, lalaroan lang tayo. And we can understand where she's coming from, right? So get the red lines clear, uh, parameters clear. No, in any relation, di ba? Hindi naman hugot lines. Maganda sana yung clear tayo sa expectations at saka ano natin, di ba? Then we can work it from there. So, uh, so yun, no? So that's a Lenny position. I expect Kaliodi, uh, Kaliodi will... Um, to also make similar statements, especially sa presidential debates and all. Kasi strong din yung positioning nila Kaliodi and some of the progressive groups. Hindi yung left-left, uh, yung center-left uh, people no, on this issue na, of course, strong sila on the West Philippines issue. And then sa gitna, I, I just call them the middle way or the third way. You have people like Isco Moreno, Yorme, and Lacson. No? Uh, if you look at Isco Moreno, interestingly, he mentioned service contract. He's open daw sa service contract sa parang West Philippine Sea negotiations with China. Unfortunately, I think it was misunderstood or it was not properly explained by the media. Uh, to be fair, uh, I mean, it was portrayed as if ISCO is just open to give up on our resources. That's not true. Service contract is iba doon sa joint exploration. Iba po yung joint exploration sa joint development. Sa joint development agreements, JDA, per on clause, Pag sinabi mong joint development agreement, uh, sinasabi mong joint, parang conjug conjugal property, no? Parang kasi tinatanggap mo na none of you has exclusive sovereignty over a certain resource, right? Or sovereign rights over a certain resource. So, wala na element of exclusivity, right? Uh, so, that's sanctioned by international law. But of course, na-invalidate yung 9 dash line ng China at yung style naman ng China is what is mine is mine, what is yours we share. Parang medyo it's hard to work around that. Iba na naman yung joint exploration or joint seismic undertaking, JMSU, na ginawa natin under Arroyo administration from 2005 to 2008. Iba naman yun. 
uh, it's still it's more like jointly exploring the resources unlike joint development in exploit mo natin ichin share mo na so iba yung exploration iba yung development right so kung may spectrum yan the the, the on this side the pinaka benign version you can say or or i would say relatively non controversial is actually service contract like for instance dun sa malampaya uh, let's say service contract tayo sa Shell or sino ba si Dennis Uyba ngayon sino ba whoever and sila magdevelop ng resources diyan di ba but the sovereignty resides with us so in fairness naman um I, well i don't know if i have to talk to Yorme on this i'm not sure he's that familiar with this nitty gritties of international law and these agreements but in fairness naman he made it quite clear service contract yung pinag-usapan niya so we can do this in other parts na hindi contested ng china hindi na sa loob ng kanilang nine dash line or something like that but let's see i still need to get more clarification but so yun um so there is there are many ways of resource sharing so yun lang sinasabi ko joint exploration joint development a, serv a service service contract is not even resource sharing actually you're just contracting someone else to develop resources but the sovereignty lies with you right and then yung profit magkakaroon ng uh, division dun sa profit no again all of these things i'm telling you pinag-usapan ko na yan, you can just google just put hey darian joint, de joint development agreement you'll see my analysis of that all right and then laxon we know senator laxon generally has been strong on 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 um dun sa ating alianza with america uh, very clear yun during Reed Bank uh, incident, uh, crisis back in 2019, etc., etc. So, uh, he's much more traditionally minded in the sense that nakikita niya yung saisai na ating alianza with America. It's not a perfect alliance. No alliance is perfect. But, you know, as Churchill said, what's worse than having allies and fighting with allies is not having any allies at all. No. So, having the U.S. as an ally gives certain options to the Philippines. But, of course, we have to learn how to leverage that. But, Lakson also mentioned that he's kind of open to some cooperative agreements or resource sharing or resource exploration agreement with China. So, medyo, I think, hindi siya nagkakalayo masyado kay Isko. And it's, he's definitely not just continuity. And definitely, he's not radically critical as the other side. So, yun lang. So, I'll keep it there. So, for me, uh, uh, ito yung mga three emerging uh, lines among the presidential candidates, the top presidential candidates, ukol sa... Um, so, West Philippine Sea and China policy and foreign policy. Natin. We need to still see more articulation of that. But, you know, so far, nakikita ko. Kay Parlade! General Parlade! Di ba galit yan sa komunista? Pero, let's see kung galit din yan sa Communist Party of China. <laughs> Kasi, may mga tao dyan. Tingnan mo si Bato. Di ba? Attack na attack sa NPA. Pero, pagdating naman sa China, talagang communist. Mm. So, anyways, let's see. Uh, wala na si Bato. So, hindi ko na pinag-usapan si Bato. But, there. Pinag-usapan ko na siya. Yun na yun. Um... So, yun. so again, these are these are the books I wrote on the West Philippine Sea, South China's issue beyond others, uh, the Indo-Pacific and Asia's new battlefield, among others, Kindle, etc. Everything is available online, so please feel free to check. And alam ko may mga nang light ko nyari sa akin na nag, uh, nag <laughs> excuse me. Eto po ay mga nag uh, review dito, no? Ah, uh, nakita natin. Pwede natin basahin. Okay. Ito naman ang nag-review sa dyan, isang defense at foreign minister ng Australia. Stephen Smith, former ASEAN Deputy Secretary General, Ambassador William Villacorta, uh, from Hudson Institute, si Patrick Cronin, from Stanford University. So, uh, anyway, everything is here. Okay, anyways, hindi ako nag-endorse ng sarili kong work. I'm just saying, uh, uh, hindi tayo blogger-blogger. You know, you know, we do our work, right? And you can check actually my scientific uh, was journal articles. Uh, Jansa Research Gate for free. You can download a number of them. Okay? Yun. Okay, ano ha? You can check them. Mare Liberum, Tragedy of Small Power Politics, uh, so on and so forth. You can check them. Alright? Okay, now do we have um, some question and answer before we wrap it up? Because, you know, I, I just want to approach this in a, in a quite a different way. No? Yeah. Any questions there before we wrap it up? Parang tagal na natin discussion natin ha? May tanong ba kay Jan? Walang, walang shout out dyan. <laughs> Len, paano naging one-sided yung sinasabi ko? I just explained to you a whole spectrum of foreign policy positions. So, kung di ko mo na-gets, di ko na problema yan. Ano eh, joke lang. Please, uh, review mo ulit yung videos. Please, try to understand it. Okay? Please. Okay? Um, so, there. We have continuity. We have... Um, discontinuity or, or opposition and then essentially the third way and then we can put the candidates along those lines no what do you think is the best way forward yeah buy my book 
Na, may sinulat ako dyan eh, uh, about that. Uh, in general, uh, the simplest way I can put it is this. When dealing with China, we have to combine engagement with deterrence. Hindi naman pwedeng awayan lang sila, walang engagement. Hindi rin naman pwede na chummy chums tayo habang in-invade tayo or something like that. No, you have to balance deterrence with engagement. The problem is that we have presidents who are or too much engagement or too much deterrence. So we have to combine the two. Yun ang, yun yung kailangan natin. Right? Shout out daw dyan kay Jason Abad. Come sa po dyan. Loading, loading daw ah. Sino ang ano dyan? Ayan, may mga nagka-comment ng ano ha. <laughs> Sino ano dyan? Shout out daw si Honey Liwana. Kamo sa bakay dyan? 200 stars pa lang tayo? Nagdaga na. <laughs> Para may dyan naman yung ano natin. Ano natin yung uh, drinks natin mamaya. Yan. Salamat sa mga nagpa-stars sa atin. Tingnan ko mamaya kung pwede makabili tayo ng ano dyan. Nang Jollibee. Yan. Shout out daw kay Justin Henry. Sorry, I made it French. Henry. Uh, Henry. Justin Henry. Justin Henry. Just Justin Henry. Yeah. Anong stand mo sa West Philippine Sea? Uh, wag tayo mag... Wag tayo mag... Um, the, the, mag in, wag tayo sumuko. No? Wag tayo fatalistic. Wag tayo maniwala yung mga tatay-tatay style na ay, wala tayong mga gawa dyan. Please, don't vote for people like that. At saka nakakaya. Pag ganyan yung mga sinasabi ng leader, so pinagtatawanan lang tayo ng ibang bansa. Um, yes. Sino pa dyan? Shoutouts from Aurora Province. John Bryan. Aurora, Ilocano? Ang si DJ Afsat? Damit nga foreign vessels. Benham Rice, di ba? Dapat ganun, malapit doon. Okay. Pa-shoutout dyan kay Lloyd at JV. Parang ano to, alam mo, pwede tayo gawa ng ano, radio style. Yung mga Papa Jackson. Ako naman, Papa, Papa Rich. Papa Richardson. Gagawa ako ng ganyan, ha? <laughs> Siguro in the future, pwede tayo mga call-in, mga tawag kayo sa akin sa ano, tapos sabihin nyo yung mga drama nyo at pag-usapan natin. Hello from, is that Denmark, Emmanuel? Is that the flag of Denmark? Okay. Just to make sure, ha? Ma maliit, eh. Qualification ng pili ng candidate sa national. Justin, ang masasabi ko lang dito, have standards but don't look for perfection. Hindi santong hinahanap natin dito. Uh, you know, we're, we're looking someone who has, who has minimum competence and, and decency and, 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 and charisma no? to get things going, right? Huwag tayo maghanap ng perfection but have standards. Huwag ka naman pumunta kung alam mo naman ng talagang Lam na this. Shout out Marvin from Kamsur. Yan. Edward from Kalapan City. Kamo sa bakay Jan. For all as do you? I'm uh, sorry, medyo mabilis. Pasahin ko yung sinasabi. Ah, uh, uh, lumabas na yung arbitration awards. So ang issue dito is paano natin ma-pressure in China uh, to comply with it or partially comply with it in ways that defends our interests. Kasi kung wala yung arbitration award at all, di ang, ang hina ng position natin. We have no leverage. At least this gives us some leverage because syempre sa China, papaya din sila dyan. Eh. So you can leverage that. Uh, I discuss that in detail. We can discuss that again later on. No, um, But all I'm saying is that don't undermine your own position by saying yung meron kang uh, leverage is useless. Right? That's just strategically preposterous. Right? Yun lang. For all this, uh, well, again, I think general voters are not gonna think about foreign policy first and foremost. But I think, naman, ang karamihan ng Pilipino, I, I, I think all of us, in one way or another, we care. No, we care about our national dignity, dun sa welfare ng ating mga inista, mga others. Yeah. Mga personal question. No, I'm not married. Um, wala on time for drama. D there was a chance here or there, but I have magku good stories. All right. Um. Move on na tayo. <laughs> Happy. Single by choice. Times two. Right. What's that, what does that mean? I'm meaning like, never mind. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Anyways. <laughs> Watching from Sydney, Australia. Adanga. John. Brian. Ah, Adanga Chinese commercial vessel. Well, awan met nga problema kung commercial vessel. Basta, uh, uh, Basta they follow yung rules natin at saka yung sa mom. Wen, ang mga mabalin nga illegal nga exploration DJ or alam mo na surveillance kasi nga 
Hopefully not. Shout out for Evelyn Del Rosario. Right. Okay. Ay, may nagbigay ng stars. Salamat dyan kay Ems for Malsi for giving us stars. Thank you very much. Mamaya natin pag-usapan yung ano. <laughs> yung mga future ambitions, mga ganun. In the meantime, we're just here to do public education, alright? Uh, in the ways, again, hindi ako yung para blogger lang. As I said, meron tayong mga sinulat, no? Peer-reviewed academic publications, etc. At hindi ko sinasabi na porque academic ka, you're tama and all. I'm just saying na medyo nag-research-research naman. Medyo may nag-peer-review, medyo dumaan sa proseso, etc. Hindi yung bara-bara lang kung ano-ano lang yung sinasabi ng iba dyan. Kamusta Alvin from England? We're in England. This is the land of ano ba si ano Boris Johnson Brexit land yeah All right uh DJ song request po Pink Cadillac <laughs> Sorry classic lang mga pinapakinggan ko at saka mga techno eh ganun ako eh. either mga techno mga Ibiza stuff or ganun or mga classic na Vivaldi yung mga ganun mga ganun or mga Max Richter type yeah, yung mga ganyan type ko. Pero, sige, check ko yan. Pink Cadillac. Ano yan? Basta Justin Bieber. Gusto ko yung mga ganyan songs na. Justin Bieber. Kamusta dyan? Jean Loyola from UP Los Banos. Mga ka Escolar. Yeah! Kamusta dyan? Jess, shout out. Yeah, shout out tayo dyan. Very appreciated. Yeah, yun lang. Uh, I have a piece coming out on South China Morning Post later this week. God willing. Uh, na-detail ko yung mga sinasabi ko kanina. So, nandun yung lahat ng links and everything like that. Again, uh, hindi naman vlogger-vlogger style yan. Kailangan duman sa editing process, fact-checking, links, and references, etc. Hopefully, the article will be out later this week. So, ipopost ko yan dito. Alright? Okay, so this is what we do, right? We discuss things, kind of lecture-ish, kind of troll-ish, kind of vlogger-ish. But also, we share articles, peer-reviewed articles, scientific articles, and also popular written articles on outlets where there's editorial checking and everything like that. So, yun po yung... Feeling ko na unique na aking contribution, hopefully, sa ating national discourse on most relevant issues of our time. Alright? Maraming salamat. Thank you very much. Ayan na. Sige, balik na ako sa day job ko. Tapusin ko yung kailangan kong tapusin. Alright? Maraming salamat. Ayan, naka 500 stars tayo. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, MRV, for your stars. Thanks sa ating mga... Uh, parang Bernie Sanders style. Eh. Yung mga kahit taga one, kahit isang... Piso lang bawat supporters pwede tayo gumawa ng ating ano kampanya to raise the level of discussion in the country. Uh, maraming salamat talaga sa mga sumusuporta sa atin. No? Uh, and please check our other videos. Meron tayo ibang videos dito sa, sa um, mga FB Alive, Meta Alive natin uh, sa, sa Facebook at saka sa YouTube. Please follow me also on YouTube. I'm trying to build some presence there because puro mga nasa YouTube, alam nyo na, di ba? Yung mga Hi! Yung mga, mga talano, gold, mga ganyan ang discussion dyan. So, sana mayroon tayong pang balance sa mga Yamashita treasure discussion, ba? Yun lang. Right? Si Kapay, Neil. Alright, God bless you too. Kaya salamat. Ayan, mga kapsat from Isabella too. Yeah, kamusta kayo dyan? Yes, this is, you know, kaya nga sabi ko, ba nung last time, nung pabalik ako from Comelec, sabi ko nga, ba uh, what I said is, Oh, ito na, it's, let's, yeah, of course, we'll discuss drama, etc. Hindi naman ako boring, di ba? Nakikita niyo naman ako, eh. Di pa ako ng mga Michael Jackson moves ko, hindi niya alam, eh. Yung mga ibang talents natin dyan. Pang TikTok din natin, ha? But, uh, yeah, now, hopefully, we can discuss more platforms and uh, issues. I think so far, Lenny, I measure my platform there. Um, the, so, again, I'm not being biased. I'm just saying, go out there. Uh, sila Lakson, I think, are also coming up with some sort of platform. Isko also here and there. Pacquiao also coming out. So, hopefully, we'll see more of that. More platform discussion. Uh, in first kay Isko, parang may concrete policy siya, di ba? Yung parang, uh, yung excise tax, tax yata ang tatanggalin. So, in fairness to him, he was brave enough to put something specific out there and for us to discuss the pros and cons. I think that's the right thing to do. So, let's come up. Hindi lang yung motherhood statements. Yung mga, mga Johnny style na gusto ko, happy ka. Or yung mga, bigyan ko kayo ng maraming pagkain. Di ba? I mean, of, who disagrees with that? So, let's discuss policy. Because policies, may pros and cons yan. Diyan tayo magkakaroon ng tamang mature discussion. Diba? Yun, yun, yun yung sinasabi ko dito eh. So for instance, 
uh, you know, yung excise tax issue. May pros and cons yan, so pwede tayo magkaroon ng debate. Pero yung mga love nature, alam nga sabi mo doon, love nature, di ba? Although, may mga tao siguro ng ganun. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Huwag mother with statement, more specific policy issues. So, yan ang try natin dito. Sometimes, of course, I mean, ayaw naman natin na maging boring lang, no? So, we're gonna have some drama, a little bit discuss. <laughs> alam mo na, nasa Duterte's Philippines naman tayo. So far, until next year at least, so until next May or next June. So, you know, we have to engage naman. Wag naman hindi naman tayo snobbish, diba? We will, we will engage with these issues. But, we want to raise level. Level. At hindi katulad ng iba dyan, yung mga, alam mo naman yung mga, yung mga kachipan, yung mga pinaggagawa niya, nagmumura sila, nag, nag, nang lalait sila, nang ganun, tapos parang ang gwapo mo, pare, parang ang ganda mo, diba? <laughs> diba? At yung mga iba nang lalait sa akin dyan, make sure, man. Make sure. Make sure, huh? Make sure. <laughs> yun, lang, yun lang ang sabi ko. Make sure. Alright? Yan. Yan. Salamat sa mga nagbibigay ng uh, stars. Yeah. Yan. Okay ba? Yung ganyan lang. Simple lang shirt lang. Kasi minsan baka ano. Hindi kasi minsan after webinar or something. So I keep the coats on. Hindi naman na tipong ganun. Pwede naman tayo mga millennial style eh. Oo. Yung mga t-shirt, t-shirt lang. Yes. Ano yung sabi mo, Arthur? Ano yung re re revisionist? Yes, yes, that's true. Unfo but unfortunately, some people, pumupunta lang sila sa social media to be just entertained. So, I'm glad na kayo nandito to, to actually, to, um, grabe ka naman, ni Kadaw. Hindi naman unleashed, unchained. Hindi naman ganoon. But, uh, you know, I feel more comfortable here. Yung una parang sabi ko, Mayroon kaya manonood pag mag-FBI live tayo baka wala eh baka gusto lang ng tao yung mga vlogger na nagwawala yung mga nag nagpapatawa na kachipan yung mga alam mo na yung mga ganun types yung mga... pero sabi ko ano nang isip ako sabi ko eh hindi you have to engage eh you have to be brave you have to get out there you have to get the message out you have to yeah be funny but at the same time yung may dignity ka naman yung yan yeah, naman disente naman i mean kalog disente ang kalog di ba kung meron naman yung magino pero medyo ano meron din naman yung kalog pero disente di ba at pwede naman yung entertaining pero level 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 right yan ang yan ang hanap natin diyan at thank you sa mga questions niyo no thank you sa questions niyo comes the mona from davao yes our good friends from davao i was there a few years ago talk ako sa atin de davao really hope to be back in davao soon if wala sa, if not for the pandemic i would have been back in davao one of my favorite places again i'm not endorsing anyone i'm just saying the hospitality of people in davao so much airport pa lang um people in the school the youth air, super, super bite super bite uh ilocano yung background ko but i can say yung yung yung, yung 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 Bisaya hospitality is also really something. Also Bicolano hospitality, no? So, so hindi ako bias no? sinasabi ng mga Ilocano lang ganyan ganyan no, that's not true, right? Yon. Salamat Jan sa inyong mga suporta. May mga question pa kay Jan, medyo nag uh... Oh, hi din sa aking friends on the other side, right? <laughs> Hello Jan. Hello Jan. Hello Jan. Yan. Oh, wag na tayo mag-ano ha? Trollish masyado. Kamusta dyan from friends from Vancouver? Russell Bautista. Kamusta pa kayo dyan? Yeah, level up tayo. Alam mo, never ako naniniwala dun sa sema ng tao. Hindi, ay tao, pag gano'n, mabuboard sila. Alam mo yung mga, yung expression natin, no split, no split. Hindi naman totoo yan eh. Alam mo, kung magaling kang teacher, kung magaling kang mag-explain, kung mahusay ka talaga, kahit yung pinaka-boring na topic, pwede mong gawin exciting. Bakit ka mo? Nakikita ko nga eh, yung mga nagtuturo ng math, nagtuturo ng calculus ha, online. Ang galing! TikTok na nga, nagtuturo ng calculus yung iba dyan. Nakita ko yung mga ano, hindi sa TikTok. Nakita ko yung mga analysis, sorry. Hindi ako ganang ka-active sa TikTok. Pero please add me on TikTok. Yeah! TikTok, yeah. Hopefully, pag may time, hindi ko pa alam how to approach that. But no, I never believe in that. You know, I had a lot of experiences like, Folks coming to me in the street, hindi ko naman sinasaya na sikat ako na, but by, by, by chance, parang nakarecognize ako, and people talk to me about on plus West Philippine Sea, people of all, of all walks of life. So, naniwala ako na kailangan, kailangan iangat, pero at least, but, but meron din audience. People are interested. People are interested. Gusto ng tao yung next level ng discussion. Yan, Jumel, shout out. 
13 trillion dun sa debt issue. You know what? We can have another episode dito sa issue economics. What did Duterte get right and wrong? What should we do and uh, after Duterte? What should we continue? What should we change? So, sige, let's do another uh, specific on that. Kasi uh, there was kakalat kail tayo. Taiwan is important. Kapit bay lang ito ng Taiwan, and it's possible there could be war over Taiwan in the near future medium run. Hopefully not, God willing not, but we have to be ready for contingencies. We're a US ally. We are chumming up with China. Taiwan is our neighbor, so we have to be prepared. We have to have a serious discussion, at least on the level of uh, you know, high level policy making. Hopefully we can have a discussion on that. So yun, yeah. Hope you can interview each candidate. Yeah, actually, remember I work with JMA Network, so uh, we're finalizing yung, yung um, guidelines namin for interview and all. Dun sa show namin stand for truth among others. Baka ma relaunch ko rin yung FYI. Uh, if, if you can check on YouTube, meron akong show na FYI before we're by na interview ko Secretary Lorenzana, Prime Minister Mahathir, so on and so forth. So hopefully we can bring that back for election time. So, so abangan nyo, hindi lang dito sa FBI Live ko, but also my work with GMA Network and among others, kung saan hopefully we get different candidates and discuss issues with them. Yeah, Fair naman ako. I mean, you can say whatever against me, but come on. You have, if you have seen my interviews, you can see I'm really fair. I really give chance. May, marami nagbabas sa akin for not being too aggressive or whatever. But hindi naman tayo ganun. We're here to raise the level of discussions, right? So please check my interview with Prime Minister Mahathir, with Secretary Lorenzana, with Justice Scarpio, Secretary Anyo, so on and so forth. It's all there online. Pakicheck niyan. Uh, makikita niyo yung approach ko. So it's really extensive discussion. Yeah, in-depth, long form. Yun po yung approach ko. Ayoko yung mga ano lang, yung mga kachipan style na parang ano lang hanahanap. Yeah. Kamo sa mga friends natin dyan, Edna from Pangasinan. Yan. May mga foronda din dyan, ha? Pangasinan, yung mga, ano namin, distant relatives namin from my mom's side. Yeah, mga foronda. Shout out, John, for Jeff, Jeff Monyes, right? Salamat, Genius, Jeff. Uh, Nagpa-star ka ba? <laughs> Salamat. Um, yes, I interviewed with Isko. Yeah, please check yung interview ko with Isko. Uh, ginawa ko noong 2019. Hopefully, we can arrange another interview with Isko soon. No, I might interview him uh, and other candidates uh, for my articles and writings. Because I'm writing for Nikkei Asia, etc. Uh, the National and Abu Dhabi, among others. So hopefully, I'll interview them. But you know, sana for TV also. At saka yung online. Uh, so hopefully, with JMA Network, I can also arrange with them. Uh, so yun. Uh, I'll repost ko naman dito eh. Once hopefully na, na finalize yun. And sana naman, oh, ayoko naman yung mga interviews na ano lang. Yung mga pakit lang or... Alam mo yung mga nagpapa-interview, ayaw kong magpangalan. Pero yung parang, parang gina-glorify mo yung interview mo. Ano naman yan? Yung ano naman, di ba? Ay, ayaw ko, na, ayaw ko na magpangalan ng tao. Yun na lang. Alam nyo na yan. Alam nyo na yan. Hi. Kamusta, Arvin? Beauty secret reveal naman dyan. Well, as you can see, eye bags and all. So, I'm not sure I can give a lot of um, on, on beauty and all. Lang, um, I eat twice a day only uh, and then I do intermittent fasting. So I eat a lot. Noon sa dalawang meal, I do it well. Although walang rice as much as possible sa gabi. Talaga nga ito. Nag lifestyle guru. Uh, and I do CrossFit. Yeah. Uh, two to three times a week, I do CrossFit. Yung intensive 10 minutes na boom, 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 boom. But before that, dahil medyo tumanda na ako, I do yoga 20, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes just to stretch and all. Kasi matanda na ako. If I do CrossFit right away, baka hindi na kaya. Diba? And I have a black belt in Taekwondo. I started boxing also just before pandemic. And hopefully, I want to go into Muay Thai. And hopefully, kung maayos yung pandemic, I want to do Jiu Jitsu. Yes, MMA is something. You can check some of the videos we posted here. Although, medyo chunkier ako nun eh, two years ago. But, you know, you can. I think I posted some of my pictures from back in the days, you no? Know, when medyo payat ako. And you could see my Taekwondo kicks, right? Pretty high. Pretty, pretty high. And yeah, flying kicks and all of that. I think I ako pa rin, yeah. So yun, yun ang ano ko. Oh, hindi ko pinangalan si ano ha, si TG. Yun. <laughs> Skin regimens. Um milk. I like milk, I, I like yogurt. Kung hindi kayo lact <laughs> lactose intolerant. Uh fruits, I do fruits. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm already in my 30s, right? No. Jack. Hindi ako matanda. Oh, yung pinatanda mo tuloy ako. No, I'm still in my 30s. I'm millennial. Right? So, in the up 40. Yeah. Ouch. Right. Oh, no wrinkles, anything. Oh. Okay, yan. Hindi <laughs> pa 35, excuse me. 
Pero mata okay, ganito kasi. Iba yung katawan mo pag pag 20s ka eh. Alam mo yung mga memes na yung uminom siya 20s after 4 hours fresh na siya. Tapos yung 30s na uminom siya. Natulog siya ng 8 hours pag gising niya. Ano pa rin, di ba? Iba eh. Hindi na parehas yung recovery time mo eh. Kasi na yung 20s ko. Mag- Grabe nun. Grabe. 2 hours lang tulog ko minsan. Boom, boom, boom. Out, here, this, that, that, this. Oh, hindi ko na sabihin. Baka patrol niyo ako eh. Basta. <laughs> Imagine, di ba? At yeah, amin natin ako, medyo party boy ako back in the days. Pero yung nag-aaral. Alam mo yung party boy pero geeky? Alam mo yung medyo ano, yung gano'n, yung combination gano'n. Yeah. Alam mo yung mga millennials, di ba? Mga ano eh, party people eh. Yeah. Noon! Ngayon, wala na. Wala na. <laughs> Awanin. Awanin. Yan. Okay. Mamaya na tayo mag-lifestyle guro. Woo! Jamela, inaano mo ako ha? Binabola mo pa ako? <laughs> Nako po. Nako po. 1981, grabe ka naman. Yun yung cut-off. Si Atom na yan. <laughs> si Atom na yan yung cut-off. Medyo, ano naman ako sa cut-off eh. Uh-uh. Oh, Peachy, I think you're closer to the target. Yeah. But anyways, does it matter? Does it matter? Right, does it matter? Basta ba ko, pag nag-beard ako, I look much older. Yeah. And if, when I shave, medyo... Frush daw, frush. <laughs> Yan. Ano ba yung matang dyan? Facial wash mo dyan. Mag- Maglasa ko ng produkto. Ito po. <laughs> ito po. Ang- <laughs> Kaya, ito po yung gano'n natin next time. Mag gano'n tayo endorse tayo ng mga beauty products. Ito po. Hindi, hindi ko kaya yung mga ginagawa ng iba dyan. Yung mga parang may three layers. First, mga ganyan ganyan. Tangle pores. Tapos, maglalagay ng ganyan. Tapos, maglalagay ng cream over. Parang, just, parang okay. Ikaw na, pogi ka na, ikaw na. na the, the only, I don't see, only recently ako nag-start ng lalagyan ng cream because I traveled a lot. Even during pandemic, may travel-travel ako. At pansin ko talaga, magda-dry talaga yung skin mo doon sa, sa aeroplano. Especially long flights. So because of that, I started putting cream. Because someone told me, anako, masisira talaga. Mag, mag-wrinkle-wrinkles ka na yan. Kung ganyan-ganyan, wala kang anything. O, oh, lalo doon sa mga long flights, mga 12-16 hours flights. Ganun, grabe, o. Oh. Stephen, age is just a number except numbers matter and numbers don't lie. So, yeah. <laughs> pero, yeah. But hopefully in the future, pwede tayo mag uh, J-Lo style. Kung, di ba, mga 50s is the new 20s, yung mga ganyan. Hopefully, we can get there. Yeah. Uh, kung may budget tayo, mga Johnny style stem cell, di ba? Yung mga ganyan. Di ba, stem cell ba? <laughs> Oops. I should have. Did I say that? Okay. Uh, ano pa? Ace, you're getting closer, but still, push it pa. Push pa. Push pa, Ace. Getting closer. Ah, oh, yan si, ano, meron tayong kaibigan dyan na nagtitroll sa atin, pero Lodi pa rin tayo. <laughs> Klasa talaga. Ano yung Lazada with Chad? Hindi pa na Shopee? Baka may exclusive tayo with Shopee. Yung Moa Globe, nasa Shopee na ba? Check ko nga, may Moa Globe na ba sa Shopee? Or sa uh, Zalora? <laughs> Ay, ito yung Zalora clothes, di ba? Lazada, ayan, check natin. Baka pwede i-grab, ano? Grab delivery yung Moa Globe. Yeah. Sinong favorite politician mo sa history? Well, I think you can get a sense. A lot of statues here are actually Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. I have an Abraham Lincoln there. There's the biography of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. So, yeah. Abraham Lincoln is someone I really respect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was not perfect. Sure. Hindi naman santong hinanap natin. But Abraham Lincoln was really someone. You don't believe me? Read what Karl Marx Tolstoy, Gandhi, even these people had high respect for him. So, he was really special. He was really special, yeah. I think in my rankings of the greatest leaders of modern era, he'll easily be in the top three of mine, right? Uh, I have other leaders who are not as no- well-known, pero sobrang love ko sila. Uh, one of them is Ambedkar. No, he was an Indian, I think, first Supreme Court justice guy. Na hindi kasing sikat nila Nehru and, and Gandhi, but very progressive guy. And he came from the lower cast system and all. Very progressive. So, there are a lot of people I can discuss. And na, nag-guess na sila ng mga age ko. Alam mo, basta importante, basta importante, alam na. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, my God. I mean, if, in five years, I think, just just around five years, what he accomplished, no? Uh, uh, I mean, civil war was horrible. It was the first really modern warfare. Close to a million people may have perished. But, you know, he abolished slavery. 
he he had some racist views, but for his time, he was ahead of time. I, you know, I so just really watch the movie of Abraham Lincoln by arguably the best actor of all time, or at least of our era, Daniel Day Lewis. Galing, galing, galing talaga, grabe. I'm a man of faith. Yeah, just just a question about that. Yeah, I'm a man of faith. Yeah, and yes, I. Indira Gandhi, major dictatorial yan. Um, <laughs> I have her book. Actually, it's here. Democracy Interrupted. I have that. It's the other side. Yeah, Indira Gandhi. Yeah, may pagkano siya. Eh. Yeah, alam mo na. Nag emergency nag may nagka mini martial law siya eh, sa India noon. All right. Brand reveal. Ah. Uh, Hindi naman okay okay pero sale. <laughs> I don't know kind of sale. Ilocano eh. Kind branded. Magaganap ka ng best price, ganun ang masasabi ko. Kaysa yung marami kang bib- alam mo the French have a term uh acheter peu mais acheter cher which means buy few but buy expensive or something. Like that. But buy few but buy quality or something like that. I think that's a good idea. Um, unfortunately, in our era, it's hard to just buy a few. People want to have a lot of varieties. Pero kung varieties, tapos yung quality ay ek ek. Alright, okay. Nakikita ko, people are already logging out. I think too much na ito. We can have a different session on Lifestyle Guru. Maybe I can do some yoga or something next time. Sa harap niyo, makita niyo yung... Alam mo yung mga... Yung, ano, yung yoga na pwede ka mag-balance pag gano'n. Yung ang hirap na gano'n. Tawag dyan. Parang, 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 parang mag-jumping frog ka gano'n. Tignan ko, kaya ko pa rin. Medyo humila na ako eh. I have to do that. Okay. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this mini teaser na ginawa natin based on our books, etc. and our writings, etc. dun sa foreign policy from Marcos onwards. But hopefully in the future, we can start even with Aguinaldo among others. And if you want, actually you can check dun sa YouTube channel ko. Uh, just put Richard there and lalabas yan. Uh, yung lecture ko, a professor lecture ko, three hours long. Yung second professor lecture ko. I started from Aguinaldo, I ended on Duterte and beyond. No? So please check that. The details are there. All right? Okay. All right? You're from Ilocos. Bakit di mo, Betsy? Bad, porque Ilocano, ano? Proud kay Padre Borgos, Ilocano, Espanyol. Kay Gabriela Silang, Ilocana, Espanyol, Cordillera. Proud ako kay Isabelo de los Reyes, Ilocano. Proud ako kay, of course, even non Ilocanos. But I'm just saying, as far as Ilocanos are concerned, these are my heroes. Uh, Luna Brothers, superheroes. Superheroes, right? Uh, Ilocanos raised in Manila, right? I, I, superheroes ko sila. Uh, so, you know, if, if you're telling me about Ilocano, and you know, I know he has got some heat and etc. But if Sina Lose, if Sina Lose is also a good friend of mine. So, yeah. So, Ma Munsot, Professor Munsot, he she was my prof in in Econ. Yeah. Ilocano, smart, very smart. So I can discuss a lot of great Ilocano leaders in the past. You know what? Ramos was not too bad too. Yeah. Also, we speak Ilocano together a little bit when we're together. Secondary Lorenzana, I actually also like him. Yeah. You love my book on Nietzsche. Actually, that I my Nietzsche books are here. Yung, yung book na kita mo summary lang yan Nietzsche. It's kinda like a debunking of misperceptions of Nietzsche. But actually, I have the other Nietzsche books here. Etche Homo, mga ano, Beyond Good and Evil, mga ganun. Okay. Anyways, and ito yung Das Spok Zaratustra. Yeah. Maybe, hopefully, next time, baka pwede natin gawin is, like, we, we, we get books and then summarize, no? Hindi lang yung sarili kong book or something like that. Pansin niya, I don't prominently put my own books at the back. Katulad ng iba dyan, parang kadiri naman yung ganun. Um, so, actually, my own books, I just put them in corner lang, just in case. Maybe in the future, we can just pick a book, for instance, in book by... Uh, Steven Pinker, no? Uh, Anong summary niya? This is quite an optimistic book which says, we are in the right trajectory, right? We're actually in the most peaceful time ever in human history, right? We can discuss that in relative statistical terms, no? Oh, oh my God, this one by Piketty. This one, Hegel, you don't want to discuss that. <laughs> GWF, you don't want to I was just reading that when he was in North Korea alone, right? For five days in, you know, my goodness, that was that was really something. No? Yeah, we can do a kind of book talk. TikTok book talk. Yeah, we can do that. All right. Uh, Salama, thank you very much. Samira Gotok, actually, we have an interview with Samira Gotok. Please check Project Pilipinas, uh, episode 15, if I'm not mistaken. We have a long interview with her on on, on, uh, on her on her positions, her background, etc. So, please, paka check yan. Salama, thank you very much for all the stars. Oh, one star na lang para 1,000. Charot. One star na lang, pwede. Ano, matatroll na talaga ako eh. Vlogger na vlogger na talaga eh. Yes, 
My pleasure, Sienna. Thank you very much also for, for tuning in. All right? Okay, let's go. Thank you very much. God bless. Yeah, Teddy Bagilat. Yep, 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 yep.